what does risk management look like for a centralized lender? I will say, yes, without regulation and in a black box and without clients demanding transparency, uh, a centralized entity does allow for that type of uh, mismanagement. What we changed was add transparency to that. Tell clients what you're doing. Clients need to ask the right questions, and that was what we're seeing now. To prevent that, we produced something called the Open Book Report that tells clients what we're actually doing with their assets, where they are, how they sit. The other piece that was a mismanage and tenure mismatching, right? If you're promising clients they can withdraw at any time, make sure that you lend that, those assets open term. And so when Celsius fell, that put risk on all the other C5 lenders because clients, of course, then started to demand withdrawals. If those assets were tied up and lent for you know a 12 month term or longer, obviously they couldn't be recalled. So there was a 10 year mismatch uh, throughout that uh, that also caused challenges uh, within the whole scope. I think we again only lent open term, so we would practice and say, okay, what if what if everyone asks for their money back tomorrow? Do we have it? How long is it going to take to get? Is it in our terms and conditions that we owe clients money in seven days? Can we get it in seven days? And it's pretty basic stuff, but just run a bunch of different scenarios, make sure that you can withstand you know several different outcomes, and then you'll still be around if those outcomes happen. If you're going to lend and you're not sure whether you're going to get repaid, make sure you can afford to lose those assets. So we also had to size loans efficiently to make sure that we could handle blowups.